guys! Okay, so I'm super excited to film this video because if you haven't read the title already, which I'm pretty sure you have, then you would know that this is a haul. And this is a reasonably sized haul. But we'll start with the stuff that I ordered from e.l.f. I believe it's elf.com.au and apparently they are shipping to... No, they are selling in Kmart now, but I haven't seen it yet. Anyways, we'll start with e.l.f. and then we'll move on to price line stuff because I ordered the e.l.f. before I left for Brisbane and I haven't seen it yet. So, here is my parcel and it's a little bit torn but everything's bubble wrapped so that's okay. It's just a paper bag, not too worried. Uh, and oh, I'm excited. Sorry. <laughs> I remember vaguely ordering a palette and that's the first thing I can see. And then I got a whole bunch of other stuff just because, you know. I got $100 worth of stuff, guys, because with $100 you got free shipping. Was that a little bit overboard? Was that excessive? No? I hope not because I did it. And the first thing that fell out, ooh. Oh, the packaging on this is quite nice. Flawless finish foundation. I got porcelain. like the actual box it comes in is like a plastic. I think I may have got it too light now that I look at it. But it's really small. It is oh, it's a good packaging. 23 grams, which isn't very bad. It's a cute little pump though. So let me see. Oh no, that color looks alright. Really good on coverage and thinking. Coverage on that looks pretty good. I think it's a little bit fragranced. But yeah, no, that should be fine. I will definitely be using at least some of this, these products in a tutorial tomorrow. So, okay. So, get excited. But not that excited, because that was... Alright, next thing in here is the other foundation that I got, the Acne Fighting Foundation, which is again, oh no, this one's a little bit more, 36 mils, and this one's in buff. The colours on the website were really hard to, like, understand. This one looked really dark, like, I couldn't figure out which colour I was going to be. So, oh. Katie got it open. This one comes in a squeezy bottle. That one's pretty good, actually. You know what, I'll make them work. Let's be honest, I will figure it out. And this one contains the salicylic acid, 0.5%. Yeah, so that should be good. Give that a go. See if I notice any difference. I noticed that I was very um, low on foundations, so I thought, to hell with it. Let's get some e.l.f. foundations. All right, next thing I see in here. Okay, we'll get this out so that I can wipe my hands clean. <laughs> so I got the, ah, oh, makeup ruling remover cleanser. And there is 20 in here. So, cute little packet. This is from the studio line, I think. Ooh. Oh, these are really nice and soft. They smell pretty average. They feel really soft. Maybe I haven't used it makeup remover wipes in a long time, but these feel nice. So, oh, it smells good too. It smells kind of cucumber and fresh. Alright, next would be, okay, I got, oh, this is actually a really pretty colour. I got a whole bunch of, um, blushes. And this is the blush in Shy, which is kind of cute. It looks like this. Sorry, I don't think I did that for the uh, Acne Fighting one. But I'll show you the swatch when I can get this damn thing open. comes in one of these little kind of slightly cheap packaging um, with the really luxurious brush but there is a really interesting mirror under the brush so although this brush is really really shit brush that's the that's the blush it's quite pale it's not that pale though uh, it's a little bit of a 
dusty pink. Again, I'll show these all in a tutorial. At the moment, I can't quite get it to swatch very nicely. Yeah, it's quite, quite sheer. I'll see if I can build it up. That one's going to be fun. I don't have very many blushes, so that's why I went a little bit burko, as in bizarre, on the blushes. Because I also got, ooh, I also got the contouring br blush and bronzing powder. And this I got in the colour St. Lucia, I think. It's, it's the more popular of the two from memory. And it looks like I did just get it in St. Lucia. So, open this bad boy up. And the packaging on this actually looked really cute too. So, yeah, cute packaging, super sleek, and I'm pretty sure this comes with the silly little, oh no, it doesn't come with the blush, the brush. Good mirror though, I like that mirror. And this is one of the studio lines, so I think it's like $8 maybe, $5 or something. But from memory, this is the one that everyone raves about being like, Orgasm and something else. Orgasm and Laguna. So obviously, this is the blush and this is the contour. And they look pretty good. Yeah, they feel really buttery smooth. That blush is really kind of peachy with a lot of gold shimmers to it. And the bronzer. I never really bother swatching bronzers because they always look really not great. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I'll have fun with that, definitely. That blush is really cute. Cute! So, oh my god. I'm just chucking the packaging around, guys. In my defense, though, it is nearly like midnight. Oh, oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, it's just packaging. Clever. <laughs> I thought it was something else. I was like, ooh, there's something else in here. No, there isn't. So that I got, and then, oh, so much stuff. Then I got, because it's been raved about in so many videos, apparently it is incredible. Um, and I am an oily beast, so I thought I had to try it out. This is the high definition powder in the translucent. Because, girl, I need a translucent powder. And there's really no reason in me point uh, opening this, except for the fact that I wanted to. How cute is the powder puff? I love powder puffs. I have a thing for powder puffs. They're so cute. Um, but yeah, no, that packaging seems good. It's, like I said, there's really no reason for me to open that or show it to you because it's just a white powder. But it's not the white powder that you're thinking of when I say white powder. And moving on. Because I didn't realize that I was thinking of a different brand. Whoops. I got the Baked Eyeshadow Palette. Um, and from memory, Elf didn't do great baked eyeshadow palettes, but NYX did. So I was hearing all these great reviews about the NYX palettes and then I ended up buying an Elf one. Either way, I still want to try it out. So, oh, that packaging. Can you tell me the of the packaging or is that just, am I being subtle? I don't know. I don't know. If I'm being subtle, then I'll keep it up. That matte black plastic, matte black plastic. No, 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 no. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, they do look pretty though. Let's have a feel. Oh. 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 Maybe I'll try them wet. Okay, so. <laughs> Pigmentation is pretty piss poor, I'm not gonna lie. I will have to play around with this because, like, <laughs> pigmentation on these is pretty darn, yeah, but it comes with a good mirror. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna have to play around with that. Um, if there's anything that you specifically want to review on, now that we're about 
almost halfway through this haul. Please do tell me so that I can put it at the top of my list because I will probably end up reviewing them all. I just want to know what you guys have tried, what you guys think, and what you want to know about first. Okay, so, oh, and then there's one other blush. Tickled pink in the studio blushes. Seriously, what is that? Oh my god. Anyways, let's have a look at the blush, shall we? Oh my god, now I can't get it out. There, there, finally. Jesus. But then, it's a cute packet once I do get it out. And, oh, very cute. So a little tiny mirror on this one. It seems as though all of the products so far have had, except for the foundations and except for the powder, have had mirrors, which is interesting to note. Now to carefully remove the plastic sheeting, yes, carefully, don't be it again, don't do something you shouldn't, you're doing something you shouldn't, okay. Got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so this one is in Tickled Pink from memory. The one thing I will say though is that they have the, the, the colour written really nicely on the cardboard external packaging that you just throw away. And then they have it on this tiny little sticker which has the batch number on it. But, oh, oh this looks like a beautiful highlight, really sheer though. Really subtle. I mean, I'm not big on blushes, so I don't really know how pigmented they're meant to be. But from the ones that I've played with before, these ones are on the sheer earth side. I do like the blush half of this combo, but the other ones, I'll see. If I don't like them as blushes, I can always just use them as eyeshadows or highlighters or all over the face colors. And yeah, you guys will see all my tips and tricks when I do the review. Then I decided that I was going to try out some concealer, so I went with the Complete Coverage Concealer in the Studio range, and of course I went light, because I'm not exactly a tan beach babe, am I? I didn't think so! And let me guess, this comes with a mirror? Yeah, it does. Oh! And a tiny little synthetic brush, which if it weren't for the fact that it's a uh, really hideable, easily lost colour and shape and size wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Oh, these concealers look good. So it comes with, from what I can tell in this lighting, two cool shades and two warm shades, but I'm probably only going to use one or maybe two of them. They are pretty nice looking. Try not to lose that brush because I'll try and test it out as well. Because it looks like an alright brush, so why the hell not? The long wear waterproof eyeliner pen from the standard range, and which looks like this. And let's see how this goes. So it's supposed to be long wear and waterproof. Uh, smudge free, budge free eyeliner lasts for hours for a fabulous and fresh look of precision. The smooth pen applicator easily glides on colour for very fine to bold lines. Oh, and that's right, I got it in uh, black and I also got it in teal because I was like, let's be adventurous. You know, like YOLO. Like, be real. Be real with yourself, girl. So, the packaging on this gets fatter. There, which isn't such a bad idea. And let's see. So, yes, it is a very, very small sponge tip applicator. And that's not too bad, to be honest with you. It 
it's not the most pigmented, but that's not bad. Like, I mean, just for touch-ups over, like, lash bands and that sort of stuff, not bad. I'll play around with it, though. And now the teal. Ooh. I'm excited. I do like bright colours. Could you tell me like bright colours? What do you think? What do you, what do you mean? No? What? Huh? Shh. Nah. So for teal. Ah. It's kind of like a dark teal. But. That's pretty. That's pretty. I like that. I do actually really like that. I haven't seen too many good coloured liquid liners. So that's why I was like, I might as well test it out. The three dollars is. Two of the Luscious Liquid Lipsticks, one in Ruby Slipper and one in Cherry Tart. These look beautiful because, let's be honest, you can never have too many lippies. Lippies! Okay, so the thing that it says about these is long lasting color and shine, hydrates conditions and softens on contact, smooths and soothes and smooths lips. Crisp bottom pen, blah blah blah, this results in soothing lip balm product. Oh yay! Oh, this looks pretty. Oh, can you tell I'm excited? All right, ready? Ooh, kind of minty too. I like that. It's not quite a liquid lipstick though, as far as pigmentation levels go. Much more of a gloss, if I don't mind saying so myself. But that one is cherry tart. Very nice cherry tart. And for Ruby Slipper, this one has a little bit of a gold shimmer to it, which isn't so bad. Oh, I get a little bit of gold shimmer. How funny does that look? Like, let's be real. All right, so let's swatch that one here. This one is Ruby Slipper and this one is Trey Tart. Okay, last product from the e.l.f. haul. If I am not mistaken, which I sincerely hope I am not. Last thing I got was the eyeshadow, 32 eyeshadow shades in Jet Set and one eyeshadow brush palette. Oh, it actually comes with a brush. That's right. So, da, 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 da. looks like this. But we'll see what, uh, pigmentation levels are like, the colours are like, and what the eyeshadow brush is like, because I'm excited about that girl. Ooh. Oh wow, okay. So that's the eyeshadow brush. Very pretty. It is literally just called the eyeshadow brush, and it's quite fluffy. Very dense, domed. It's not quite like any of the Sigma shading brushes. It's softer than that. But now the eyeshadows, super pretty, super pretty. Oh, so I don't know if you can see these glorious shades, but I'm excited about this one, this one, this one. But we do also get really nice neutrals. Oh, pigmentation on these isn't so bad, guys. They're nice and soft. <gasps> yes. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, yes, yes. Get on my eyelids. All right, so now let's try this purple. Feels good. Ooh, that's a really nice smoky kind of plum. Very nice. Let me see if I can get a better swatch of that color. Let's go here. It's a little bit dry when you go to apply it, but then again, I've had shadows that feel like that on application uh, and they've done perfectly fine. That is all for e.l.f. Thankfully. And I assure you, I will definitely be doing a tutorial tomorrow. But now it's time to have a look at the stuff I got from Priceline because I also went there today because I needed eye cream and I also wanted makeup. Sorry about the crinkle bag and I saw this. 
This looks really cool. I was at the lashes because I wanted to get some new lashes and I need lash, lash glue. And then I saw Ardell are doing a breakthrough formula in Magic Lash Growth Enhancer with Lash Grow Complex trademark. Multi proteins that stimulate new growth, repair weak thinning lashes, and prevent loss and help prevent lash loss, giving lashes a healthier, fuller appearance. Satisfaction guarantee. So I thought I have to try this out because are you kidding me? Like, that's see this I don't like, guys. Are we seeing this? You do not need that huge packet for just this one little. What is it like a, a texture? That's really disappointing. So this I'm really excited about. But it comes with a brush tip applicator. That's weird. That's how do you even do this? How do you do this? Directions apply night nightly onto clean dry eyelids. Rotate the end of the pen to dispense serum. Brush a thin line of magic lash growth enhancer to the base of your eyelashes. Extend onto your lashes. No need to rub it in. When used daily, results can be seen in as little as three to five weeks. So, maybe I'll use it two times a day. Because <laughs> I really want to fix my lashes. Like this one, these ones are just going stupid. Stupid! That was $20. No, no, no. $17.59 because I got it 10% off. Anyways, then I got the Sukin um, Antioxidant Eye Serum because I couldn't find any good eye creams. If you know a really good drugstore eye cream, um, tell me because I couldn't find any. Or just any good eye creams. Just tell me your favorite eye cream in the comment down below because I need it. But I got the eye serum and this is Soothing Aloe Vera Cucumber and Burdock. Rose hip, even primrose, and borage oils to improve skin elasticity and texture. Doesn't sound so bad. Oh, and it's vegan. So, hi, yes, thank you. I'll take that. However, I didn't do so good with the rest of the stuff that I got. <laughs> um, yeah. Then I got Sally Hansen Miracle Cure for Severe Problem Nails. I didn't even think to look at this because it was with my friend and I was just like, eh, get in my hand. I'll take it. It looks good. <laughs> Stop nails from peeling. 50% stronger nails in three days guaranteed. Which is kind of what I need because my nails are kind of weak. So, uh, what it is, a strengthening treatment for severely brittle and dry problem nails. How it works, it's exclusive micro mineral formula fills in cracks to, to instantly stop nails from peeling. Powerful moisture magnets, which is called a humectant, thank you. Uh, target extreme dryness with moisture. Natural protein and super antioxidant formula strengthens nails. The results, nails are strong and healthy looking enough to stand up to everyday wear and tear without splitting, breaking or peeling. To use, apply one thin coat to bare nails every other day. Use alone or as a base coat. So I'm thinking I'm just going to pile this stuff on because I really need to fix my nails and hopefully it's a lasting result. I am so surrounded with stuff right now. <laughs> and then I got the... Uh, Maybelline Volume Express Mascara Mega Plush Revolutionary Gel Mousse Formula Mega Volume, no brittle feel. And this one has a flexi brush, and I got it in the blackest black. But to be honest with you, mascaras don't really mean much to me right now. Because I mean, normally Maybelline mascaras are good for my eyelashes, but the other thing is, like, normally my eyelashes are pretty darn good, so I've never had an issue. This one was $16.95. And then because everyone keeps raving about it, go away bag. I got the Lasting Drama Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in intense smudge proof, waterproof, uh, 24 hour in black is black as well. And this one comes with its own brush as well, guys. Do we know what's gonna happen to that brush? Is it gonna, is it gonna stay nearby or, or not? I don't know. Let me see how it goes. I'm getting closer and closer to you guys. I hope you don't mind. It's not creepy, right? 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 Hi, JK. Alright, this is a really puny bottle. Wow. Let's 
see how this brush goes, shall we? Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait to do like a colorful summer eye for all you people on the Northern Hemisphere. Because you guys are all like, what is sun? How do you sun? Meanwhile, we're like, Get it. Hang on. Just, uh, just do a squiggly squig, and then it does look pretty good. It's pretty good. It's nowhere near as pigmented as the camera is telling you, though. It's nice, though. It seems creamy. Oh, I am tired now. That is everything I got in the last week. Down in about a week. Alright guys, so that was my entire haul. Now I'm gonna have to find a way to put this somewhere so that my dad doesn't go off at me. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys had a lovely time watching this. I'm gonna try out these products and if there's something you want to review on really quick, do let me know. Otherwise you'll see tutorials tomorrow and then you will see my empties and you will see Anyways, any videos that you want me to do, write it down below and I will definitely do it. I promise. Okay, thanks for watching guys and subscribe because otherwise you won't be able to see my next one.